hi welcome to another video so um i made a video on the uh, atmospheric correction of sentinel 2 images that is converting sentinel 2 level 1c product to sentinel 2 um, level 2a product using the sent 2 core processor and i've received quite um, a, a huge attention on that and some questions actually on how to uh, run the process for multiple files and that's what i'm here to show you today so um i've downloaded some sentinel data um of the same area i, I have two for this demonstration so i'm going to show you how you can um, straight away implement the process all at once for uh, two images so if you see the folder here i have the images which i have um, unzipped and so these folders that ends with dot safe that's what we are going to be working with now through the um the terminal the mac terminal and i will probably also put um the option for windows command line within the description box so if you're on a windows laptop or computer then you can um, check the description for um, how you can run the process in, in windows so let's get on with it so i have my terminal open here and if you have already set up the sent to call um, processor on your mac then you should be able to straight away call the the process or the the function from your um, your terminal so this is how you do it basically it's a for loop that loops through files that or folders that ends with the dot save name and then um, retains the process for each of such uh, folders so let's go get on with it I'm going to navigate into the folder uh, that contains my images so this is the path to the to the folder and from here i will use the star dot save So if you remember in the first video you just had to call the um the processor followed by um the path to the image right so this is exactly what we are we are trying to do here but this time we are calling that for all the images within that folder so every file that ends with dot safe um, will be processed one after the other So for an item in um, all the files that ends with dot save, do the following. So call the process followed by the path to the item. And enter. Yeah, so you see that the process has begun and it's already created one folder uh, right where the images are stored so it will go on for uh, both images until it's done so basically that's all you need you just now have to wait till all the process is done and so this is how you this is how you um, execute atmospheric correction uh, automatically for all images that you have at once using a for loop on the on the send to core processor that's it for now thank you for watching catch you later